Hi, my name is Valerie, and I'm going to be talking about how to create a self-watering orchid pot. So I am going to do this with a one gallon jug. This has a little bit of water in it, but it's still a good example. So I would start out by making an incision, starting at the base of the handle all the way around your pot. So then you end up with a top and a bottom. This will hold your plant and this will hold the water with your plant. The nice thing about this shape is that when you put it inside, it fits relatively snugly. Now, when I did this, uh, the inside was a little bit too tall, and that is because the neck of the bottle was in the way. So I just cut that off, and I ended up with a nice size hole. So now you're thinking, well, you have a really big hole and all your media is just going to fall out. So I came up with a solution for that, and that is crafting mesh. And this crafting mesh, uh, it's from, I got it from Joanne Fabrics. It's for you making like yarn projects, whether you want to make a picture or if you want to make something like, say, a tissue box cover. And it's pretty sturdy. It's, it's a little flimsy but it's it's sturdy enough that with how light the weight of orchid media is it probably will not end up being poking through your hole and falling out so I cut this 14 squares by 14 squares that means on square number 15 I cut it here and I cut it here to make my little square and that fits nicely inside my orchid pot like so you can see it overlaps a little bit and um, you have to be careful when putting your media in because you, you don't want it to be moving back and forth. That could make a hole that could allow your media to fall out or um, it could, you know, end up doing something like this where it just like pokes itself out and then you have to restart. So now you're thinking, well, okay, if this is sitting on the bottom of your pot, how is the water going to get in or out? Because you mainly want the water to be sitting in this reservoir. So a lot of people who have orchids, their pots end up having slits or a bunch of holes in them to help with aeration so that the orchid doesn't end up feeling suffocated and drowning and then it dies not cool. So when I do this, I'm probably going to use a hot nail. If you use a hot nail on plastic, melted plastic makes a lot of fumes, please open a window so you don't get sick. So I'll probably make about 10 holes on both sides and then on the back I might do something more like seven or eight just because they're not as wide. So then that will help water to have access to the media and air to be able to go in and out whenever it needs to. And that will be how my orchid gets water. And then the nice thing about the handle is it's hollow inside so you can pour water directly in here. It'll travel down into the bottom of the pot and you won't have to worry about water getting in the crown of your orchid and causing crown rot. So you're probably wondering, well, why do you need to be putting your orchids in a situation like that? My husband and I like to go traveling sometimes and sometimes we end up going away for work at the same time for a couple of weeks. And it's very helpful to be able to have something that's holding enough water so that your orchid has access to water the entire time you're gone. Or else you'll end up coming back to a very thin, shriveled up dead plant. And I don't want my own Cidium ampliatums to be dead. I want them to have the beautiful flowers in the fall that they usually would create. So for me, I believe this is a very good solution. So now you're wondering, well, what kind of media do you use for that? Because if you use bark or sphagnum moss, having that sit in water all the time, that's going to make it come apart and break down and fungus can grow in it, algae could grow in it, 
And that's one of the reasons why I'm switching over to this system. I'm going to be receiving, a, I think it's a 35 pound bag of Lekka beads. So they are these spherical round pieces of clay that are used for hydroponic gardening. The brand that I am getting is Hydro Crunch from Home Depot. Apparently you can get it from Walmart too, but it's like double expensive. So I'm going to be receiving that. And the great thing about these clay spheres is that they each take up, absorb some water, which creates a wicking system. So water from the bottom is soaked up by the beads and it just kind of keeps traveling up to the top and then evaporates which is partly why you want something that kind of seals itself in there. That way there's no other choice but for the water to evaporate up through the media. That way, when it is being held by the ceramic beads, then your orchid can take that water and use it for itself. Um, I'm really excited about doing this in the spring. That's when all the roots are going to be growing and that's you know, new roots means that it's more likely to adapt to a different situation like this. And um, I hope that this has given you some inspiration. You can, you don't have to do this with a one gallon jug. You could do it with a one liter bottle. You could do it with a Gatorade bottle if you have a smaller orchid. And um, I just hope that this helps you out with some inspiration for your own orchids. If you don't like how it looks, you could always take like some colorful paper and like wrap it around the bottom. And you could paint it if you want to try doing that. I'm not sure what type of paint adheres very well to the slick plastic. You might have to do something like rough it up with sandpaper beforehand. But um, that actually could be a really fun project with kids where, you know, they get to decorate it themselves for mom or for dad or auntie or something like that. So I hope that this helps and that you have a nice rest of your day.